hi guys welcome to my youtube channel today i'll be doing a brow tutorial i am using a translucent powder from rcma to mattify my brows before i draw now i'm using a simple technique it is called the point a b c technique where you start your brows from the bridge of the nose your arc is formed just right there and the c is where your brows should end i'm using a classic brow pencil the details will be in the details box below so make sure you um, check it out to know the exact products and details so i'm going to shade um, slightly at the arc area to make that part very dark as opposed to other side where i will go in gently with strokes yes which is what i'm doing now using my um, spoolie to brush the brow hair so that the product sinks in and it's very beautiful yes so i'm brushing in my pencil i'm also going to do the same thing on the other side of the brows make sure not to press your pencil too much it also depends on the intensity you are going for if you want your brows really dark you intensify the pencil for a more darker feel but if you want it appearing lighter just go in slightly with light strokes so like i said i'm repeating the same things i did previously on this other side of the brows to give us a nice sleek beautiful brows next up i would be going in with this concealer palette from fbh cosmetics is a nigerian brand i'm going to go about two to three shades lighter it also depends on what you want i prefer to go with two shades or one shade lighter if possible but it depends on your preference so i'm going in with my concealer with my flat angled brush from nuban beauty to apply my concealer at the brow bone now always note that the brow bone has to be lighter than every other side of the brows now i'm going in with bond this way concealer in butterscotch which is darker than um, the previous concealer i'm using this at the um front part of the brows just so that it sinks in and it blends in i really do not like when i get to see harsh lines so it's always better for the front part to be darker you can try to go in with the person's foundation shade or the concealer shade depending on you so the brow bone side is lighter the front part of the brows is darker then i'm using a fluffy brush to blend in i'm repeating the same process here on the other side of the brows two shades lighter one shade lighter three shades lighter depending on you and how you love to blend <laughs> i always tell people that the lesser product you go in with the better for you but when you go in with more you have to blend blend and blend and blend and blend and we have a sweet brows now i'm going in with a darker shade of foundation to also conceal the top of the brows now this is not compulsory you can wait till you are ready to put your um, foundation on the skin and going with that somebody will ask me why am i using a darker shade of foundation now i'm using a darker shade of foundation because i want it to blend into the skin i'm avoiding using a light foundation because i do not want it to stand out i don't want to take pictures and i am seeing the lines of the brows so i prefer to avoid trouble and I go in with a darker shade. I am just blending in my foundation. You can see how it sinks in. And we have our brows. I hope you learned something. Kindly drop a comment, share, subscribe. Because we're going to be having a lot of amazing makeup tricks and hacks and tutorials. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you next time on our next post. Make sure you share. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.